Up to this point, you have seen how easy it is for users to be productive with Office 365, whether on the PC, browser, or phone. Now, let's look at how simple it is for IT to manage users and services with Office 365. Adding a user is quick and easy. You can see that IT has the option to add a single user or do a bulk upload. Karen will add a single user first. The bulk add option would be much the same, except it would start with uploading a CSV file with all the users. Karen needs to provide some basic information about the user. If she chooses, Karen can add some details about this user, such as location, phone number, department, and title. On this screen, Karen can choose whether this is a regular user or an administrator. Karen can choose which type of administrator this person should be, service administrator, user management administrator, or both. This person is responsible for our purchasing decisions, so she will make her the user management administrator. She'll be the one that receives the billing reminders. Karen will set the user's location and be on her way. Now Karen needs to choose which licenses to assign for this user. She can select from any of the subscription plans that Fabricam currently has. For example, Microsoft offers the Office Professional 365 subscription plans designed for a variety of organizations. They include plans for infrequent users with light computer-based workloads, such as those who share a computer or only log in occasionally from a kiosk. Of course, one of the most common user management tasks is resetting passwords. This is quick and easy with Office 365. The new temporary password can now be sent in an email. In the Microsoft Online Portal, you can quickly jump into management settings for Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and Link Online. Let's start with Link Online. The key controls here are Domain Federation and Public IM Connectivity. Domain Federation lets you federate with another company or with on-premises users at your own company. Enabling it is simple. Here, Karen can choose the organizational approach to federation. Allow with all domains except those I block. Or block all domains except those I allow. And adding a domain to block is just as easy. If Karen had chosen the other federation approach, Blocking all except those I explicitly allow, the process would be much the same, except she would be adding domains to allow instead of domains to block. The Public IM Connectivity option lets your users communicate with contacts from the Windows Live Messenger network. Now let's take a look at managing SharePoint Online. IT people have a lot of control at their fingertips with the SharePoint Online Admin Center. It's very quick and easy to set up new sites here and to empower users by allowing them to be admins of their own sites. Once a site collection has been created, Karen can choose to allow sharing externally with a couple of clicks. With external sharing enabled, site admins can invite external users, like I showed you earlier. The SharePoint Online Administration Center keeps the IT admin in control with a rich set of powerful administrative capabilities. You can manage user profiles and even manage metadata terms to provide your company a common taxonomy structure to help them categorize and find information. Now let's take a look at Exchange Online Management. It's easy to create a distribution group or security group. Managing mobile access to Exchange Online is similarly simple. To ensure the users are properly securing their devices, I can set a policy that they must set passwords. I also have a full complement of other device configuration options that help control costs and ensure appropriate use of corporate devices. Because mobile devices are connecting back to company email, setting Exchange ActiveSync device policies, for example, forcing all users to set a password PIN, allows company IT staff and executives to sleep better at night. Thank you for watching this demo of Office 365 for Enterprises.
We hope it helped you see how Office 365 can help your business be more productive from virtually anywhere and almost any device. To try it out for yourself, sign up for a free trial on office365.com.